Hey everyone, so question is from square and square root. The question is, what is the smallest number by which 1458 must be multiplied to get perfect square? With the prime factorization method, remember that uh, we cannot use a long division method for finding this problem. So if they are asking you to find out the smallest number to be multiplied or divide, you have to go by prime factorization. So here I have 1458. It's even number. I'll start with 2. 2 7s are 40. 2 2s are 4. 1 is left. So 2 9s are 18. Now 7 29 is an odd number. I'll go with 3. So 3 2s are 6. 1 is left. 3 4s are 12. 3 3s are 9. Again this is divisible by 3. So 3 8s are 24. This 24. 3 1s are 3. 81 is again divisible by 3. So 3 2s are 6. 2 is left out. 3 7s are 21. Again 27 is divisible by 3. So 3 uh, 9s are 27. So I'll just continue here on other side. So we got 9. So 3 3 is a 9. And we got 3 1s are 3. Now I'll just rewrite this. So 1 4 5 8 is equal to what all factors you got just rewrite that so I'll get 2 multiplied by 3 into 3 multiplied by 3 into 3 and again multiplied by 3 into 3 now when you look at this numbers or the factors every 3 is forming a pair so this is one pair this is one pair and this is one pair but here this 2 is left alone like it doesn't have a number like it's single number so if I multiply with 2 here it will gonna form one pair right so in when you're calculating a square root by prime factorization all the factors should have a pair here this 2 doesn't have any pair so if I multiply with 2 it will gonna form a pair yes so the smallest number to be multiplied will be 2 here so if you're multiplying on the right hand side you should multiply on the left hand side also that is along with 1458 so 2 into 1458 will be nothing but 2916 so this is equal to I'll just rewrite this 2 into 2 multiplied by 3 into 3 I'm keeping in a bracket to show you that they are in a pair multiplied by 3 into 3 again multiplied by 3 into 3 so you might have learned that when you're finding the square root by prime factorization method after pairing the each factor you should take one one factor from each pair so from here I'll take this 2 multiplied by from next set I'll take 3 like that I'll take 3 from other two sets so just multiply it so here 2 3's are 6 then 6 3's are 18 18 3's are 54 so we'll get here 54 so square root of 2916 is nothing but 54 if you have any questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you